Hello guys, welcome to Daddy Share Space and today I'm going to do an unboxing of a few small rig items for um, Sony a6600 cameras and any other camera um, if you know whatever brand you choose to support so anyways so this right here is uh, supposed to be a rig for the a6600 we're gonna see if I got what I ordered so let me just open this up pop it open and yes so what we have in here is the actual frame and it also comes with an Allen key, and that's all that comes inside of the box here, okay? So let's set these things aside, and let's go ahead. So the Allen key, obviously, is a tool to help uh, attach the device, so we're pulling it out. And what we have here is a frame, a metal frame, uh, that gives you the ability, it attaches via a quarter, a uh, quarter inch screw on the bottom of your camera. There's also an attachment point for the A6600 right here on this uh, segment where this uh, silver screw is. And then you also see there are quarter inch holes drilled throughout the frame. That is so that you can actually add different accessories to this mount. Now with the A6600, the actual area where you would put like say a, well the hot shoe, um, it's right in the center of the camera so on the back so, or on the top So basically when you flip up the screen if you have anything on that hot shoe You won't be able to see yourself in the screen if you're actually pointing the camera at you So what this small rig gives you the ability to do is it gives you two cold shoes. It gives you a cold shoe right here on the left side of the rig and then it also gives you an offset cold shoe on the right side of the rig here on the top and then, uh, so that gives you a little bit more flexibility. You could actually uh, attach a microphone to one of these uh, slots, and then you can attach like a, um, a light source to another one. And then you also have all of these quarter inch holes all around the device so that you can attach other items. Now on the bottom on the quarter inch screw, you can see here that it actually comes with a key to be able to actually tighten that in and it magnetically attaches here. Now I think mine on my uh, my original small rigs that actually came off uh, somewhere so you know uh, you want to be mindful of that. The way that this particular cage is designed for the A6600 is that you can still access the battery. You can actually um, mount this uh, if you look at the bottom here, you could actually mount it in a way to where um, you move it away from the actual tripod base so that you can access your card and your battery so you can leave this attached at all times, which is very convenient. You still have access to the door on the left side of the camera as well with this rig in place. So you don't really have to remove it for any particular reason. Um, so I do think you have to remove the lanyard uh, attachments and it's it appears here that there's a uh, slots in the top here one here and then one on the side which may be alternatives for your lanyard I didn't notice that before but um, one of the things with the a6600 that I didn't like is the way that the, it actually that it actually attaches is if you're moving the camera handheld um, the metal taps the side of the body of the camera and causes some noise artifacts so um, this right here is actually the small rig. So this is basically what I'm actually referring to when I unbox these other items. So um, the other item that I have here from small rig as well, let's move this out of the way. This is a, and it actually comes with um, two screws and its own Allen, its own Allen uh, wrench. And right here we have a handle and what this does is it gives you the ability to get those low down shots so let's go ahead and try to connect it on here and see where exactly it would fast fasten all right so we got the bottom there we can put it over here to this side or 
fits on the center there. Let's try to put this on real quick to see how it looks. All right, so we've got our screws, Allen key, and then we're gonna put this on like this. So the camera's gonna be facing to my left. And we'll drop these in. Put this in like this here. And then we'll drop the other one in on the other side. Stug those up. That one's nice and snug. And this one's nice and snug. So feels like a pretty uh, firm attachment there. Nice and beefy. This handle is made out of metal. Looks like it's got some Allen keys here to attach here. And then you also have another cold shoe mount here. So now you have three total cold shoe mounts for this particular rig and it gives you the ability to kind of, you know, hold your camera down low or just hold it in this orientation. Now, one of the things that I see with this is you will not be able to you'll have a, 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 a skewed view of your screen. So the screen will be down here and um, you'll kind of have to look around your, your hand or whatever because if you're holding it like this, you won't necessarily be able to see your screen. So that's one of the trade-offs, but it does give you the ability to get that lower shot if you want to hold your camera in this orientation. So I think that's pretty cool. So that is the second addition that I have for my small rig. I have two other boxes here. Now let's go ahead and pop those open really quickly. All right. So we have an attachment device here. This one does not come with any form of Allen screws or keys. So uh, this right here is a small rig handle. And basically what this is going to do is give you the ability to, let me just see how this actually fits. Okay, so it looks like, okay, according to what I'm seeing here, I have to take out these screws here. I'm not sure that this didn't come with an Allen key. Is there an onboard Allen? And there is. There you go, onboard Allen key storage. So you're gonna take these off. And it appears that this is an ambidextrous device, so you could put it on either side of the camera. And this is just gonna give you some additional grip. So let me get this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing here. All right, so we got that out. Now, let's see, we're gonna attach this to, let's go this side here. So we'll slide this through. Or actually, no, I wanna put it on this side, like this. And then once I put it on there, I want to put this plate on, drop the plate in. Pop this up here, drop the plate in like this. And then you'll take the screws and orient them properly in here. Okay, we got one of them in there at least. So I'm gonna put this screw on here like this and try to put it in there like that. And that works better. So I've got that attached and I can slide it up or down. You just loosen it and then you can slide it up or down wherever you'd like it to be. So then let's go ahead and put this on the side here of the camera. I'm going to move it down so I have access to that hot shoe on the side there if I want to use it or cold shoe rather, sorry. We will put this on the bottom on this side and tighten it up. 
and then so that gives you that a, a grip on this side here now what I don't see on this is there are some quarter inch holes here I thought that this may come with other uh, cold shoe mounts but it does not but it does have the ability to uh, you could actually attach something here to give you more mounting points as this has here and there so that's one knock I would put on this thing I thought it would actually come with some uh, extra mounting points now let me set this to the side and then we'll grab this here and we'll go through the same process of getting it ready all right face this out like this that's how we're going to attach it so first and foremost let's take these um, screws out and then we will attach this like this take the plate first and drop it in we'll try to line the plate up with the holes and then once we get it lined up with the holes we'll take the screws actually I think it works better when I use the Allen key. Let me just try to see if I can get this. Okay, we got it there. Lined it up and it is screwing in. All right, let's grab the next one. Put it on the tip. Stick it in the hole there and screw it on in. And it, let me loosen the bottom one so it can slide up and down. And then we'll put this on the other side. Of the, cam of the camera mount. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and flush this down. That appears to be good. Tighten all of these up. As you can see, and then I'll tighten it just like this. So I know it's available on each side and the camera will sit flat Take it up here you got your camera rig where you can go down low and then you also can hold it like this and kind of have potentially a more uh, controlled um, use of the camera now you don't have to put this right one on you could actually use the regular camera mount or the actual bump in the camera or camera grip to hold on to the right side or you can do this method where you do where you have two now Obviously, there's some kind of accessory that probably small rig sells to be able to attach um, added cold shoe mounts on these sides here. So right now, cold shoe wise, I've got one, two, 
three and then the potential to add more here four and five as well as having all of these quarter inch holes uh on the device here to be able to access and put things like camera monitors or sound equipment or anything else that you would want to put on the device i mean if you want it to be uh, quite ridiculous you could grab something like this zoom and actually put it on one of these now more than likely you would probably want it centered but if it's centered then it's kind of hard to hold the mount here but you could put something like this on the device and be able to you know have a secondary audio with this because it actually has a quarter inch uh, screw placement here so um yeah overall i think it's a, a pretty it feels pretty uh pretty secure and it looks like you can if you need to get some leverage to tighten this up you stick the allen key through there and that gives you the ability to snug it up even more and that's a nice little uh nice little option there so you don't have to worry about that coming loose with just thumb tightening so again so we'll uh go ahead and put this in put the camera in here and see how it works and give it a you know put it through its paces and see how it does